Today, we'll show you over half an hour of skill tutorials. And each skill will be given a difficulty rating, which, in our opinion, describes how difficult we think that skill is to master. But first, are you going to watch the Euros or the European Championships this summer? Because with our sponsor, ExpressVPN, you can watch the Euros for free from anywhere. See, here's how it works. When you sign up for ExpressVPN, you can easily change your online location. So if you want to watch the Euros right now for free, all you have to do is change the server location to Switzerland. Sign up for Swiss streaming service at 2. And now you can watch all the games on BBC and ITV. And in about a month, ExpressVPN will help you watch the Olympics as well. Now, I for one can actually vouch for ExpressVPN because, well, I actually use it. I used it just the other day to watch Italy play Switzerland. And besides just watching football, ExpressVPN is great because it funnels all of your data through a secure server. Meaning that no one on the internet can see your exact location, and your internet service provider can't see your browsing history. So if you want to get three months free of ExpressVPN, you can visit expressvpn.com slash allattack or click the link in the description. Double Elastico. Use the inside of your foot to drag the ball across your body. Then quickly bring your foot around the ball and use the outside of your foot to take a touch back the other way. Then complete the skill by bringing your foot around the ball again and pushing the ball past the defender down the line. Forward McGeady. Start by bringing one foot, the foot you're not dribbling with, around the front of the ball. Then, use the top of your other foot to push the ball past your first leg. To complete the skill, bring that same foot around the ball and use it to push the ball past the defender. The Blanco. When you see a gap between two defenders, grab the ball with both of your feet and lift the ball over the defender's legs. Roll Top Chop. When a defender is chasing you down, Use the underside of your foot to roll the ball down the line, as if you were going to continue that direction. Then, use the inside of your other foot to chop the ball behind your leg and away from the defender. Dragon Step Over Start by using the inside of your foot to drag the ball across your body. Then, with that same foot, bring your foot around the front of the ball. Complete the skill by using the outside of your other foot to push the ball down the line. The Hocus Pocus With one foot, step forward in front of the ball. Then use the inside of your other foot to push the ball behind your leg. Finally, use the top of that same foot to push the ball past your standing leg. Reverse Elastico. Use the inside of one foot to drag the ball across your body. Then bring your foot around the ball and use the top of your foot to hit the ball the other way. 
Fake Rabona. Plant one of your feet close to and in front of the ball. Then bring your other leg behind your plant foot. Finally, use the top of that foot to stop the ball and go the other direction. Pull behind leg fake. Use the underside of your foot to pull the ball back. Then use the inside of your foot to push the ball behind your leg. Before the ball gets too far away from you, use the top of your foot to stop the ball, faking as though you were going to pass to a teammate. Inside to inside. Use the inside of your foot and drag the ball across your body to your other foot. Then use the inside of your other foot to hit the ball past the defender. Roll to heel in the air. When you're holding off a defender, roll the ball off the back of your calf. Then, when the ball is in the air, use your heel to hit the ball into the path of your teammate. Roll top step over. Use the underside of your foot to roll the ball toward the defender. Then bring your other leg around the front of the ball and use the outside of that foot to push the ball past the defender. The Rainbow Lean forward and place one foot in front of the ball. Then use your other foot to roll the ball up the back of your calf. Complete the skill by using your heel to hit the ball over the back of your head. The lift. When you're on the wing and you don't have much space, Lift the ball down the line and pass the defender. Lifting the ball in the air will help you avoid the defender's outstretched leg. Cruyff turn. Run up as if you were going to cross. Then use the inside of your foot to cut the ball behind your leg. Puskas. When a defender reaches in to steal the ball, use the underside of your foot to pull the ball back. Then use the inside of your foot to push the ball away from your opponent. Fake cross. Touch the ball out to the side and run up as if you were going to do a big cross. Then use the inside of your foot to drag the ball past the defender. Inside out. Use the inside of your foot and drag the ball across your body. 
Then quickly bring your foot around the ball and use the top of your foot to push the ball the other way. The fake cutback. When you're dribbling with speed, use the outside of your foot to stop the ball momentarily. Then use the inside of that same foot to push the ball down the line. Change of speed. When you're dribbling with speed, slow down as you near the defender. Then, suddenly accelerate as quickly as possible. If you've got decent acceleration, a change of speed is a great way to surprise a defender. The underfoot stop. When you're moving with speed, and a defender is catching up to you, Use the underside of your foot to stop the ball. Then you can pass or go a different direction. Drop your shoulder. When you're facing a defender, drop your shoulder and step as if you were going to accelerate one direction. Then use the top of your foot to push the ball the other way. La Croqueta. Use the inside of one foot to drag the ball to your other foot. Then touch the ball past the defender. Fake and Meg. When you have the ball on the wing and you're facing your opponent, the first thing you should do is look for the gap between the defender's legs. In this case, there's not a good angle to fit the ball through the defender's legs. So immediately going for the Meg is not the right option. Instead, start moving the ball one direction, as if you were going to go that way. This will force the defender to move to try and stop you. When the defender moves, there will be space between their legs, at least for a split second. Use that space to push the ball through and accelerate past the defender. Pull behind. When a defender thinks they have you trapped, they'll often try to reach in to get the ball. Of course, by reaching in, they've opened up a gap between their legs, which you can exploit by using the underside of your foot to pull the ball back, then the inside of your foot to push the ball through their legs. The Roll Chop. When a defender is on your back, roll the ball to the side and at the same time, jump with your other leg. Then use the inside of your foot to chop the ball the opposite direction. Pull behind and go. When a defender is trying to steal the ball, use the underside of your foot to pull the ball back. Then use the inside of that same foot to push the ball behind your leg. Finally, bring your other foot behind the ball 
and use it to push the ball past the defender. The Roll Top Meg. When you're facing a defender, use the underside of your foot to roll the ball across your body. Then, when the defender moves to stop you, use your other foot to push the ball through the gap in their legs. Off back leg. When you're moving one direction, use the underside of your foot to stop the ball. Then use the inside of your other foot to push the ball behind your leg. The Dragon Go. Use the inside of your foot to drag the ball across your body. Then, if the defender moves to take the ball, push the ball past them. And dodge the tackle by running around the other side. The Neymar Rocket. Put the ball between your feet, with your toes pointing away from the defender. Then, lift your legs up behind you, and release the ball over the defender's head. The Sombrero Lift. When a defender is moving toward you, stick the edge of your toe underneath the ball and lift over the defender's head. Leave the pass. When you're receiving a pass and a defender is closing you down, you may be able to let the ball roll through your legs and to a teammate who's in a better position. Fake control. When you're receiving a hard pass and a defender is coming up your back, Move toward the ball like you're going to control it. Then let the ball roll through your legs and sprint after it. Body feints off a through pass. When you're running onto a ball that's in front of you, but is also rolling across you, move like you're going to take the ball one direction. But instead, let the ball roll past the defender. Body feint off a square pass. When you're checking in to receive a pass, and you notice the defender's momentum moving with you, move like you're going to control the ball normally. Then turn and let the ball roll across your body and pass the defender. Technique. The speed elastic is a variation of an elastico, useful for navigating tight situations. Start by using the outside of your foot to push the ball away from your body. 
Then quickly use the inside of that same foot to push the ball out in front of you and pass the defender. Just like a traditional elastico, the speed elastic must be done in a single step. Unlike an elastico, a speed elastic can be used to accelerate forward rather than across your body. The speed elastic is especially useful in two situations. Between defenders, as you dribble toward an opponent, often a second defender will be nearby to help. The speed elastic enables you to move quickly through tight spaces. So look for gaps between defenders, then use the speed elastic to split them before they have time to react. Technique Begin by using the inside of your foot to push the ball forward, as if to pass to a teammate. Then use the underside of your foot to drag the ball back where you started. Complete the skill by using the inside of your foot to push the ball out the other direction. Use the V to beat defenders in real game situations. When you are being guarded by a defender, look to the side and pretend you see a teammate. Then use the skill to fake a pass in that direction before dragging the ball back and accelerating the other way. Technique Start by turning the outside of your foot to face the ball. Then use the outside edge of your heel to tap the ball forward. As the ball rolls forward, complete the skill by quickly turning your foot to flick the ball away. Game Prep The outside heel toe is typically used in 1v1 situations on the wing. When you have time and space to slowly approach a defender. Begin by slowly nudging the ball toward the defender. Then use the outside heel toe to flick the ball several yards past the defender. 
allowing you to run onto the ball and leave your opponent behind. Technique Start by placing one foot on top of the ball in front of you. Then turn the inside of your back foot to face the ball at a 45 degree angle. To execute the skill, Use the bottom of your front foot to roll the ball backward. As the ball rolls backward, bring the inside of your other foot forward to strike the ball in the desired direction. Game Prep The roll to heel may be useful when you are being guarded closely near the touchline. When you see space behind the defender, use the skill to surprise your opponent and accelerate past them down the wing. Technique Start by placing your foot on top of the ball, stopping the ball if it's moving. Continue by jumping over the ball with that same foot, rotating your body in the air before landing. Begin rotating your body as soon as you start your jump, making sure to turn about 180 degrees in the air. When done properly, your landing foot will point toward the ball when it reaches the ground. Complete the skill by using your other foot to pull the ball quickly to your standing leg, rolling the ball off the front of your foot and flicking the ball forward in the air. Practice controlling the height and direction of the Balassi flick by lifting and turning your foot as you execute the skill. The Balassi flick was used to flick the ball over a defender's leg, escaping a tight situation near the touchline. To use the Balassi flick successfully in games, practice recognizing the right situations to apply the skill. When a defender thinks you're trapped against the sideline, a well-executed Balassi flick can surprise opponents, allowing you to escape down the line. <laughs> 